Hello, welcome to American Baker in Germany. I'm Michelle, and we are continuing our Baking Basics series with learning how to bake a cake. That includes learning how to recognize when a cake is done. So let's get started. Okay, so let us talk about how to bake a cake. The first thing you need are cake pans that are prepared and I have a video up on how to prepare a cake pan. I will include a link if you need that. And uh, so what you do is you line the bottom with parchment paper and you grease the sides with either baking spray or, or with butter. So I have both of these prepared. You can see the, the baking spray shining off of there. And um, so now I'm going to fill them with batter. Now that is also a little bit of a technique. Let me go get my batter. All right, so I'm going to start with this one, the square one, and I'll show you. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top. So we'll start out with some. I think that's enough, actually. Stop. Now when you pour batter like that, it tends to kind of stick to the middle, and it doesn't go all the way to the sides. This is a fairly thin batter, so it does distribute fairly evenly, but if you have a thick batter, or even with this one, I'm not particularly happy with the way it's distributed. Then you take your spatula and or a spoon, whatever you have, then you just kind of spread it around, particularly into the corners. Try to make it as flat as you can. You want it to be really even and uh, so that it bakes evenly. I'm going to even do this. There we go. That looks really good now. See the difference? So, now this is about halfway full. In case you remember how deep it was at the beginning. You don't ever fill it all the way. If you fill it all the way, your cake is going to spill out over the edges because cakes rise. So what you want to do is fill about halfway, no more than two thirds. And that includes cupcakes as well. Don't fill them all the way full. It's just going to uh, make your cupcake spill over onto the sides. If that's, unless that's the look you're going for, of course. <laughs> but uh, most of the time you don't want it to look like that. So I'll set that aside. We'll bake that in a moment. And now I'll do this next one. This one's a little bit deeper, but I don't want my cakes to be super deep. So I'm only going to fill this about a third of the way full. Yeah. Well, I don't want to use more than half of my left rest of my batter. Okay. Let's blur them around. There we go. Yeah, that's about a third. Alright. Get it nice and flat. That looks good. And now I'm going to put these in the oven. The most of most cakes bake at about 350 degrees or 180 degrees Celsius. Um, if you are concerned about how much it is browning on the outside, then, or if you have a very deep cake, like if I were going to fill this almost full, like up to here, then um, I would turn down the temperature. Because if you don't, then it's going to get very dark on the outside, possibly even burnt, and it won't even be cooked all the way on the inside. And we don't want that. So what you do to counteract that is you turn down the temperature, to about 300 uh, Fahrenheit or about 150 Celsius, give or take. Um, and that will keep the outside from browning too much and it will help it to bake slower and that will make sure that the inside gets baked all the way through. You will, however, have to bake it longer. Now, a cake this size will bake for about half hour, 35 minutes, give or take. It's not super deep, so it shouldn't take too long. So the larger one, and it is slightly deeper, the square one, don't pull it into the frame, um, will probably bake for about 45 to 50 minutes. Um, just keep an eye on it. And I will show you how to check if it's done. Now there's always a range on any recipe you have of when it will be done. The reason for the range is because your oven might be different. It might be slightly hotter, might be slightly cooler than uh, 350 or 180 Celsius. It could, um, the elevation plays uh, a role as well as humidity, uh, weather, 
um, a lot of things could make it bake for longer or shorter times. And because of that, it's very important to just watch it and test it. And if it's done, then take it out. If it's not, then let it keep going. Um, so we're going to show you today on how to tell. All right, I'm going to talk about three tests to tell if a cake is done. So let's check our cake. I'm pretty sure they're not done, but I will show you the first test. First test I call the jiggle test. There we go. Now, if I move this at all, see, there's motion in the batter. So I'm going to close it back up. That means it did not pass the jiggle test. If you jiggle it and you see motion, then it is not ready. You need at least another 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how uh, large of a cake you have. All right, I think we're about ready for the next test. That's pretty good. The next test is the touch test. Notice, pull them out, and they both pass the jiggle test. There is no motion. So I'm going to touch the top of this one. Now, the thing is, these are very hot. And most people will think, oh, you can't touch that because it'll burn yourself. As long as you're very, very fast and gentle. Oh, that one was really nice and firm. Now, if it's soft, oh, they're both actually pretty good. But if it's soft, it goes down, it doesn't come back up, and it's not done yet. Okay, so now we're ready for the toothpick test. Take a toothpick, and you press it into the center, pull it out. If it's clean, like this one, then it's done. This one's done. Let's test this one. Oh, no, this, see, this one's a little bit brown on just the tip. I don't know if that shows up on camera very well, but it is a little bit dark. So the other one's going to keep baking for a little bit longer, but we're going to take out the small one now. All right, both cakes are now out of the oven. There they are. Now I want to mention one more thing about cakes themselves is that I let them cool on either a cooling rack like I have here. Um, that's what this is, it's called a cooling rack. And what it does is it leaves some space underneath the cake, there we go, um, so that it, it cools more quickly. But if you don't have that, it's perfectly fine to put it on top of the stove. Just make sure the stove itself is not on. Uh, but don't put it directly on the counter to cool because you can burn your counter surface and you just don't want that. So before you try to take them out of the pan now, let them cool completely so that when you touch them, it's no longer hot. I'm not even gonna touch this because it's still hot and I can tell without even touching it. It's already warmed, warm to my hand without even touching it. So we're gonna let them cool completely and we will take them out of the pans after they are cool and I will show you how to remove them from the pans as well. Alright, I am going to remove this pan a little bit early. It's still pretty hot um, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful but I need this, but there are three reasons I'm going to take it out before I take out the other one. Is uh, Number one, I took it out earlier so it's been cooling longer. Second is that um, it's easier to take out of the pan because of the spring form on the side, you can see the seam of the spring form. And third is that I need this pan <laughs> to uh, make another layer. <laughs> so, um, so for those reasons, I'm going to go ahead and take it out now. Let me grab my heating pad. Make sure you have one of these. Um, these are super cheap. If you don't have one of these, get some. Otherwise, we don't want you burning yourself on the oven, um, whatever it is that you do. So I'm gonna hold it with this pan and I'm going to use a butter knife and I'm going to put it into the side. Now I'm going to go towards the back of the knife and not the front, not the blade, because the blade could accidentally cut the cake itself and we don't want that. So I'm just loosening the edges and these were actually really quite loose, so it was well greased. <laughs> and then I'm going to release the spring form on the side. There we go. I actually can touch this a little bit. It's not that hot. It's not hot enough to burn me, but um, it's just a precautionary measure to use this. There we go. Now you can see the side of the spring form pan is a little bit dirty. I need to wash that before I use it again. So it is aside for now. And you can see the bottom covered in parchment paper. Now this is the trick 
to getting them out. You will see this and you'll be amazed. Now I'm not touching the pan, I'm touching the parchment paper from the side. Let's see if I can do this without blocking the camera. All right. I'm just going to lift it up by the paper. Try to loosen it around the sides if I need to, like I need to. There we go. Not the other side. Yeah, there we go. And it comes right off the bottom of the pan. Now once, I'm going to leave it here to cool completely because it's really not quite cool. Um, I'm going to let it cool. It's still very warm to the touch. Um, and I'm going to wash my pan so I can use, do the next layer. But uh, as soon as it's cool, this parchment paper will come right off. It's really no problem at all and it will leave you with a very nice flat bottom of your cake. Alright, now our second cake is pretty much cool and ready to come out of the pan. So I'm going to use that same butter knife that I used before and I'm going to use the back of it to loosen the sides. These are really quite loose. They came, it comes right off. Um, I did get a couple of crumbs on the bottom, so that does happen a little bit. Now I'm going to flip it upside down onto my turntable, and you can see how we can take off the parchment paper. Now I'm using my fingers to kind of keep it inside, you see that? So it doesn't fall out too quickly. You don't want it to break as it comes out, but look at it just came right out. No problems. And here's the parchment paper covered bottom. Now watch how easy this is. You just pick it up and it comes right off. I didn't even have to try. This one didn't even take off any crumbs. So that is why I use parchment paper. <laughs> Anyone who has ever not used it and then tried it with using it um, will never go back. It is definitely the way to get your cakes out of your pants. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today, and we'll see you again next time.